Welcome to a new video of the Napon Network Automation Series. I'm Michael Alvarez and I will continue to show you how you can implement network programmability and automation with Python and Napon. Today we are going to use Napon's methods and functions to collect data from a multi-vendor network. That's right, we will use a network with Cisco and Huawei routers and switches. In this network, we will write multiple scripts that you can use to create a report or to investigate a problem. So, let's get started. We are going to start by introducing the network on which we are going to work. As you can see, the network is similar to the one we saw in the videos working with Cisco IOS and IOS XR and working with Huawei VRP. On the left, we have two routers and one Cisco switch. One of the Cisco routers uses the Cisco IOS XR operating system and the other devices use the Cisco IOS. On the right, we have one Huawei router and a Huawei switch, both with the BRP operating system. On the left, we also have the local network 10.10.10.0 mask24, which communicates with the network on the right 10.30.30.0 mask24. In the center, the routers share their routes using the dynamic routing protocol VGP. Today, we are going directly to work with Python. The network we saw is a network closer to the reality of the companies, where routers and switches from different vendors are handled. The challenge we face is to implement network programmability and automation without getting too complicated. This is basically what we are looking for when we choose to work with Napalm. In our first task, what we will do is that we will edit the script that we wrote in the previous video for the iOS and iOS XR and Huawei VIP routers. If you are new and you have not seen the previous videos, I recommend that you watch it. Up here and in the description, I leave you the link of the videos and my blog page where you can find these and other scripts that we have written. Okay, let's get started. First, we are going to make a copy of the script and rename it. Here we have the script. Let's start editing it. Now let's talk about the main modifications we made to the code. The first thing was that we add more calls of the get network driver method and pass them the parameters for the different operating systems, iOS and iOS XR, and we do not touch the existing call for Huawei devices. Next, we modify the device list to define the devices for our new network. Which one are Cisco devices and which one are Huawei devices? In the for loop that iterate through the devices to create the objects that represent each of the devices on the network, we create an if condition to use the correct network driver for each of the operating systems. Finally, in the section that prints the information about the interfaces, we add an if condition to only present the interfaces in up state. Ready. Now, let's see it running. Wonderful. Look at this. See the tables. 
In our first table, we have the list of devices. Here we can see very well the Cisco switches and the routers, as well as the Huawei router and the switch. We also have information like the model of each devices, the uptime, and the serial number for those devices that can provide the information. In the following table, we have the list of our interfaces in up state, with also information like the descriptions, MAC address, speed, and MTU. Here we can see the Cisco devices and the Huawei devices. Finally, in the MAC address table of the switches, we can see the MAC addresses that the Cisco switch has learned and the MAC addresses that the Huawei switch has learned. What I appreciate the most here is how I got all this data from my multi-vendor network in about a minute. We are going to make this report even more interesting. I'm going to create a new functionality to print a table with information about the router's layer 3 interfaces, that is, the IP addresses and their network masks. In addition to this information, we are going to include some of the counters of these interfaces to display the errors or discards of the packets. Let's start coding. Let's quickly see the modifications we made to this code. The first thing we did in this code was that we create a new list to save the information such as the host names of the devices, the interfaces, their states, the IPs and masks, the transmission errors, the received errors, the packet discards in transmission, and packet discards in resection. Below, we use two new Naples methods, get interfaces IP and get interfaces counters. With the information collected from these two methods, we fill our table. We use the for loop to iterate through each of the interfaces. I decide to fill the result to only show the interfaces that are in up state. Finally, we add the print function to print our new table. Let's see it running. Well, here we have our new table. As you can see, we have a list of all the layer 3 interfaces that our network devices have. Here we can see the IPs and their mask, and to the right the statistics. We see that no device has errors in the transmissions, none have errors in the resections, there are no packets discards in the transmissions, however, look how interesting. Here we can see that one of the interfaces of our iOS XR router has received discards. We're going to do something super interesting that came up a last minute while doing this video. 
As you could see in the plugin we are using from Huawei, the getPGP neighbors method does not exist. For that reason, in the video working with Huawei VRP, I could not get a table of the BGP neighbors as I did with Cisco's devices. But what would you think if I tell you that you and I can develop this method and integrate it into your Napalm installation? Yes, it is possible, and it is what we're going to do now. Here we have our getVGP neighbors method that was developed to be able to have a function just like in Cisco that allows me to get the neighbors from BGP, the remote autonomous system, the send prefixes and the receive prefixes. This time I'm not going to explain the script but it will be in my blog so you can study it. I'm going to proceed to copy this new method into the Napalm library that is installed in my virtual environment. The path is as follows. We modify the following file and we add in here our code. Before saving it, let's go to the console and try to call the getNeighborsBGP method. As we can see, the method does not return any output because simply it does not exist. Now after adding and saving it, let's run it. There it is, our method is working. Just like I just did, you can also create your own development and integrate it into the library. And not only the local library. As it is a development that does not exist, you can also propose on GitHub to be part of the source code of the original plugin. Finally, we are going to add the code that we had written to show the VGP neighbors in the video working with Cisco IOS and we are going to run it. Here we have it, our neighbor's BGP table. As you know, the routers are the ones that handle the BGP routing protocol. And in this table, we can see each of the neighborhoods or neighbors that the routers have. Check the iOS XR router, who has two neighbors, which are the iOS R3 and the VRP R2. Here we can see the information of the neighbor's IP the autonomous system of that neighbor, the status of the BGP neighbor, and at the end we can see the prefixes that are being sent and received on each device. Again, I am surprised when I see that in 135 lines of code, I have a script that connects to my multi-vendor network and in a minute, it gives me a summary of the data of the interfaces, data with the MAC addresses tables of the switches, layer 3 interfaces data with package discard and error statistics, and the data from the BGB protocol and its name. Surprising, no? Engineers, we have reached the end of our video collecting data in a multi-vendor network. If you like it, give it a like. If you have questions, doubts, write them in the comment sections below. 
Thanks for supporting the channel. In the next video, we will continue working in this multi-vendor scenario, but we will configure the devices with Napalm. It will be an interesting video, so subscribe if you have not subscribed and activate the notifications so you can continue learning about network programmability and automation.